It's 11 trivia questions on what's the theme, where my friend Brian Salyer asks me 10 questions that are totally random, and I have to figure out what all the answers have in common. This is Trivia with Buds. it be and welcome to another episode of the trivia with buds podcast i'm your host ryan buds just got back from a big old hike with my daughter annabelle we've done a a few small hikes before just around foothills and things and this was no different but i took her up way too high into this hill and then we had to get down and we went down a weird way that we didn't come up and uh we kind of slipped scooting our butts down a hill and she was uh, holding on to me and we both kind of fell and uh, it was very scary. So it's at the top of my head, and I thought I would share it with you guys. Have you ever dropped your kid hiking? That's what I want to know. Reach out to me on Twitter so uh, I don't feel so bad. But uh, she's okay. She just got a little bump on her butt, and uh, she said she's fine. She was more scared, I think, of just kind of falling. And it was really like, you know, three or four feet. It was not a big deal. But uh, I'm scraped up pretty good. And uh, it turns out that trivia hosts do bleed human blood, just so everybody knows. Uh, if you want to play trivia with me, Somewhere around Southern California, go to my website, TriviaWithBuds.com. It's uh, it's tons of fun to go click around there, and you'll find all kinds of cool blogs and articles on trivia-related things. Maybe you're looking for like a new trivia team name. You could search for team name, and you will find a whole bunch of different ones that I've posted on there. Uh, most recently, one of my favorite ones is Christopher Walking on Sunshine. So use that next time you're playing trivia, huh? That'll be kind of cool. And Taylor Swift kick to the face. I like those puns. I like the pun ones. Those are great. Uh, But you can find a whole bunch of lists of other team names and things like that on there. And you can buy tickets to this Friday's big event. That's tomorrow night. That is Game of Thrones trivia. Five rounds on the hit HBO series now in its last season. And I'll be doing a big ticketed event over in Ogo Pogo Brewing. That is a very cool facility in San Gabriel, California, not far from Pasadena, just past the Rose Bowl, if you've ever been out that way. So if you find yourself free on Friday night, tomorrow night, you can come and buy tickets at the door. They're $10 a person, and you can have up to eight people on your team, and all the questions are about Game of Thrones. And I've got so many cool Game of Thrones things to give away. I've got a door stopper that says Hodor on it. I've got a vigil or a sigil pin set of different crests from the show. I have uh, Game of Thrones socks, Game of Thrones t-shirts. I have a big box that says Game of Thrones to put everything in. And um, just recently found by my mother-in-law at a Target in Fontana, California. She got me those Game of Thrones Oreos that everyone's looking for. So first, second, and third place can come get a pack of those for uh, tomorrow night. And first place will also get a ton of other stuff in that box, like we mentioned. But Game of Thrones Oreos, um, I had her buy me like 10 packs. So we will be giving those away all through Monday, probably. So if you want to come win some Oreos or you were not lucky finding them yourself, uh, come win them at Trivia with Buds, all locations at TriviaWithBuds.com. Okay, guys, we're going to jump into today's episode. This one is a what's the theme episode. Those are uh, the rounds where I do at my live nights where it's 10 totally random questions and then all the answers have something in common and you have to figure out what that is for the bonus two point question. My friend Brian Salyer called me up. He said, hey, if you're free before bingo uh, at Hangar 24 on Monday, this past Monday, come on out. I'll show you some cool spots around Redlands, which I never really explore. And uh, he goes, I'll show you some cool spots to maybe get some cool trivia prizes and uh, we'll grab a beer. So we did that, and we recorded an episode on airplane movies, which will probably go up next week, and we recorded this episode on what's the theme, which was questions that he asked me and uh, had prepared in advance. So thank you, Brian, for doing that. Thank you guys for listening to this show and telling a friend about it, and let's see if you can guess what's the theme. Here we go. Sitting here in downtown Redlands, California, in the car of my friend, Brian Saliers. What's up, Brian? Hey, what's up, Brian? Where's your last name from? What is that, Salier? What's that? What, what country? What nationality? Uh, I don't know for sure. I'm thinking it was cut down, but uh, my heritage is kind of like Russian and German and English. Gotcha. So Maybe want... they were sailors at some point. Oh. You ever think about say, that? Say, no, I, mm-hmm. I prefer Slayer. Slayer. So they, were, <laughs> they, were, yeah. they were members of the band Slayer, yes. everybody in the family at one point. That's pretty sweet. Uh, you just took me to a pretty cool uh, sports bar. You had a beer. What were you drinking in there? Uh, it was a Cali squeeze and kind of a blood orange wheat beer. Oh, that's good. I like this uh, Cali cream and ale. Have you had that? It tastes like uh, it's very yeah, vanilla. Mother, Mother Earth. Mother Earth. Mother Earth. Yes, yeah. Yes, Shout out to Mother that. Earth. Yes. Love that beer. That's my new favorite beer. Uh, I love vanilla things. And uh, it's kind of like a milkshake when you first take a sip. It's yes. very vanilla-y off the bat. 
Uh, you got some questions for me. You got a round uh, of what's the theme? Where yes. you ask me ten random questions. I'm going to see how many of these I can get, and then I got to figure out what they all have in common. Yes, correct. All right, let's let's jump into all it. All right, I wrote this one just for you, okay. and uh, it might be a little easy, but we'll see what happens. All right, let's see. How all right, here we go. Number one, everyone's favorite character in Shrek, Donkey, <laughs> is married to what other character? Uh, you have to answer in a donkey voice. So. <laughs> uh, I don't know the characters' names from Shrek, except for Shrek and Donkey. Uh, dragon? Um, is it the dragon of a name? Well, you have to do it in the voice. Dragon! Of, that is correct. Yeah. Dragon is correct. Dragon well done. and the, sh- right. the donkey voice. All Perfect. Right. Love okay. it. Okay. <laughs> All right, Ridiculous. number two. Yep. Rami Malek won the Academy Award for portraying the lead singer of what group? Uh, this just happened. This was at the Academy Awards this year, I believe. And that would be uh, Freddie Mercury in Queen. Correct. Okay. Queen is the answer. Yes. All right. Number three. What 2001 movie starred Rob Schneider as a man who gained special abilities after receiving an organ transplant following an accident? Uh, special abilities. I think it's got to be The Animal. That is the animal. Yeah. Well done. I remember wow. that movie. I've never seen it, but I remember it. It was right in the Rob Schneider heyday of it, like both Deuce Bigelow's and Hot Chick yes. and all that stuff. Yeah. Yes, it was right there. The animal. Mm-hmm. I didn't know it was from an organ transplant. That's interesting. So, okay, let's see. Number four. Ron Perlman played this role opposite Linda Hamilton in a CBS TV series that ran from 1987 to 1990. That was Linda Hamilton? She was in that movie, in, in the show? That was uh, Beauty and the Beast. Correct. Beauty and the Beast. My mom used to watch that, and I used to be like, "What's wrong with that guy's well, face?" Well, actually, actually, wait, wait, but Ron Perlman played this role. So, oh, who did you say? So, no, 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 no. So, oh, it was the Beast. The Beast. Yes. Oh, in yes, terms indeed. of the, uh, yes. the theme, I got to yes, figure correct, out. Correct. Correct. Okay, so let's okay. do a recap. We got Beast. We've got Queen. We've got Animal. We've got uh, Dragon. Dragon. Okay. okay. Very good. All right, all right. Number five. Yes. Tom Skerritt's character had this call sign in the movie Top Gun. Uh, I've never seen Top Gun like all the way through, like like most people have. I just know the major scenes. Uh, just the volleyball scene, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. The yeah. you know the scene everyone watches it for. Yes. Um, it's Tom Cruise's call sign. Uh, Tom Skerritt. Uh, Tom he was Skerritt. he was like one of the bosses, kind of. All I know is like. Goose and Maverick. Those would be call so, signs, right? Yes, correct. But it's not either of those. But it's not either of those. Yeah, I have no idea. Okay. What do you right. got? Well, it's kind of, should I tell you or not? Because we're going to try to guess the theme. So. Mm, yeah, okay. Right. We'll, we'll, we'll save it We'll, we'll the go end. back. We'll, we'll go, go back, back to, to that it. One. All right. Okay. The NHRA stands for the National What Association? NHRA? NHRA. What do the H and the R stand for? Honor roll. Honor roll. No, that is not. Is that right? No. <laughs> oh, no. No idea. Oh, boy. All right. Okay. okay. I thought it was National Honor Roll Association. National Honor Roll. No. All okay. right. Here we go. Number seven. Uh-huh. The three small bones in the ear are the malleus, stapes, and incus, or more commonly known as the hammer, stirrup, and what? Oh, shit. These got real hard all oh, of a sudden. A little bit. They can't all be easy. Uh, one more time with that one. So basically, there are three small bones in the ear, yep. and they're and they're named. They have Latin names based on their shape. Okay, it's the hammer, the stirrup, and the what? And the AirPod. AirPod. <laughs> no idea. No, no. Okay. All right. We'll go back here. Let's see. Question number eight. Mm-hmm. Um, this contest held annually to determine. Oh, wait. No, that's not how that goes. The contest held annually to determine this was first held in 1977 at Universal Studios and featured Lou Ferrigno as a contestant. The most recent contest was won by Game of Thrones actor Hapfor Julius Bjornsson. Oh, my God. Uh, Is this a strongman competition? It is the world's strongest world's man. World's strongest yes. man. So that's yes. different. But I was on to it, kind so of. You were, okay. you were there close enough. I, Very mean, I don't good. know how many of those they have. <laughs> okay. But anyway. All right. Yeah, good luck on this one. Okay. Number nine. Well, I don't know. You had a thing on this. It was like rapper's real name. So maybe you'll get this. I don't okay. know. Rapper Jason Terrell Taylor with the hit 
hate it or love it is better known by what name? Uh, well, it's funny that his initials are JTT. <laughs> it's like the teen heartthrob. Yes. But that would be the game. That is the game. Yeah. Yes, well done. I had I had that album. I was ah, a big game fan. Okay. He wrote that whole album when he had yes. like was recovering from an, uh, an accident. I think a car accident, or maybe it was when he got shot. I forget. Um, but I think he wrote the whole thing like in a hospital bed, if I remember the story correctly, something like that. Um, okay, so we're on number ten. So now we're going to number ten. What is the profession of Sweeney Todd? Uh, barber. He is a barber. Okay. So, do, would you like to make a guess as to the theme? Or do you uh, want to read that first? I think, at first I thought the theme was Game of Thrones, until you said Game of Thrones. Because mm. it was like Dragon, Queen, stuff like that. Then it was like World's Strongest. And uh, uh, I think these are all gimmicks for wrestlers. They, they are right? nicknames so of, like Ricky of the Dumb- Dragon, Steve Ricky Bo, the Bruce Dragon. the Barber. Mm-hmm, correct. Uh, Queen is, is that uh, Queen Elizabeth? Or Queen, the Queen Charlotte, Charlotte Flair. Flair. Okay, Queen. Uh, uh, the Animal, you could do George Steele or, or animal, Batista. Or Legion of Doom uh, Animal from that. Um, and and then, then The Beast. But we'll go back to the ones you missed. Oh yeah, um, let's do that. So Tom Skerritt in Top Gun, uh-huh. he was Viper. Oh, the Viper Randy Orton. Correct. Okay. And NHRA is the National Hot Rod Association. Oh, mm-hmm. Hot Rod Roddy Piper. Definitely would not have so. guessed the Hot Rod. <laughs> That's good stuff. Uh, the three small bones in the ear were the hammer, stirrup, and the anvil. Oh, now I've definitely heard that. So. Okay. Delayed and I think that's, heart. that's the only ones you missed. Well, that so. was a good little quiz. I'm going to have to use that so. at some point in uh, my live rounds and make people mad that don't watch wrestling. So. <laughs> I yeah. watch wrestling and appreciated it. Thank you so much, Brian. Uh, you're How very did welcome. I get? What did I get? Seven out of ten? Uh, you got seven out of ten and the theme. So okay. it's like eight. Very Not cool. bad. Very cool. I feel good about myself. Thanks for uh, quizzing me. Oh, uh, you're welcome. There it was, wrestling nicknames, wrestling gimmicks. What a perfect theme for me to try and guess. Brian played it easy and made it not too hard for me, so I felt great uh, sitting there in Redlands figuring that out. So thank you, Brian. Thanks again for showing me around and uh, helping me find some cool stuff. He helped me find a cool uh, Red Queen or Red Witch. Is that her name from Game of Thrones? Uh, It's like a Dorbs figure at this like liquidation toy mart in Redlands. So that'll be one of the prizes that I give away tomorrow night. Again, that is... uh, at Ogopogo Brewing in San Gabriel, California, not far from Pasadena. Go to TriviaWithBuds.com, click on the big Jon Snow artwork at the top, and you can buy yourself some tickets, up to eight people per team, and the top team will get a bunch of cool Game of Thrones stuff, so it'll be worth your dollar. Plus, second and third, we'll get some Oreos of the Game of Thrones variety and some swag from the brewery. So come on out and win and have some fun. Guys, thanks so much for listening to this show. If you can, leave an iTunes review, maybe a five-star review if you really like the show. Tell other people what you like about it, and uh, hopefully we can get some more listeners on this thing. If you want to support the show monetarily, go to patreon.com slash trivia with buds and see all the cool stuff we're giving away. I just found books for the next two months of book club over on Patreon, and oh man, you're going to love the two that I found. And I already found next month. So I have the next three months in advance. And I'll give you a hint that uh, next month's book club is a guide, so to speak. It's like how to do something. Okay. That's my vague hint, how to do something. We did a Mad Libs book for our first book club uh, in January. That was a Golden Girls Mad Libs set. The second one was a book called The Dry, which I am almost done with. It is a fantastic book. And it's the first book uh, ever by this Australian author. So check it out. It's, uh, It's called The Dry, wherever you can find it. Really, really good crime, small town crime book. And then uh, last month we did a book that I already forgot the title of, but it's about a family of con artists. It's like a young adult novel, YA fiction. And next month is this manual, so to speak. The month after that will be a graphic novel. Mm-hmm. And then the one after that will be a film novel. So lots of cool stuff if you like reading and you want to join that tier. I believe that's the $20 tier on patreon.com slash trivia with buds. All right. Thank you guys so much for listening. Thanks for telling a friend about this show and we'll see you tomorrow for more trivia with me. Cheers. Thank you.